Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to identify what kind of refrigerant is in a unit if you actually don't know. We're working on this cooler that is a little bit weird. The compressor that's in it is from like a warranty Goodman air conditioner. So uh, when the system was put together, they just kind of used random stuff that they had. And that's all good and fine. I mean, the system has been working good as a cooler. But we don't know what kind of refrigerant is supposed to be in here. I suspect that it's R22, but let me show you what I got inside that is making me second guess myself. This is the defrost timer. You can see it says 409A written on the outside. No further markings on the inside as far as refrigerant is concerned. So based off of that, we would say the system's 409A. Well, then you come into the cooler, and on the case it says R22. So the evaporator seems to be wanting R22. We come and look at the tag on the evaporator. 12502 or R22. Right there. So that means that this ev evaporator can run on any one of those three refrigerants. None of them say 409A, but 409A is a replacement refrigerant. So maybe they switch it to 409A. But we're not sure. So what we're going to have to do is figure out what kind of refrigerant this unit is actually running. So the first thing that we're doing is pulling a vacuum on this empty cylinder. This is the one that I use to temporarily hold refrigerants like today. So based on the pressure of the refrigerant, as long as there's enough that there's also liquid present, is going to correspond to our vapor saturation temperature. So all we have to do is get all of the refrigerant into one cylinder and get it all to the same temperature. Then we can use our gauges or a temperature pressure chart to see what refrigerant corresponds to that pressure at that temperature. Okay? So it sounds kind of confusing, but it'll make sense shortly. The only reason why I'm not doing that with the system as it is, is because right now it's like 35 degrees. Last night it was like 20 something. So all of the refrigerant probably migrated into the unit out here. But because half the system's at like 30 degrees and half of the system is at like 70 degrees inside the building there the pressure is going to be messed up so even though we have liquid present the pressure might be higher than it's supposed to be so I just can't uh, I can get a close idea based on the vapor saturation temperature but unless I know the temperature of all of the liquid and gas for sure I can't say for sure what kind of refrigerant it is Hopefully it's not a mixture of 409A and R22 because then I'll just be like, oh, well, I don't know. We're now recovering both from the low side and the high side. And I think there's actually liquid going. It's amazing, but this pump is able to hand liquid and gas somehow. Not exactly sure how it does it. You can see it's definitely flashing right around right here. All right, so we just finished recovering all the refrigerants. Six pounds, five ounces, according to that. And I have a probe, temperature probe, taped onto the side there. 55 degrees, about. And right now the gauges are set to 409A. We have 90 PSI on the low side, and we've got 83.7. So I don't think it's 409A. Let's go to R22. R22, 53. So 53 for our VSAT at 89 PSI. 55 is the approximate temperature of that cylinder. So, I think it's safe to say that this is R22, not 409A, like it has written on the defrost timer. So, uh, I think I'm going to let this cylinder cool down and confirm it at a second temperature. Like, if I just set it in the snow, it'll cool down. Um, but, I think we're good to go on that. Since we're pretty sure it's either R22 or 409A, Seeing that it says 53 versus 83, we're pretty sure that this is R22 and not some other refrigerant. So anyway, hope that that was a helpful brief explanation of how you can figure out what kind of refrigerant is in a system based on the temperature. I was also very careful to cross out 409A and write R22 so there's no question. It's also marked on there, which that was original. Also marked it on the side of that liquid line filter dryer. So there, there, and then two places inside. So now, there will be no question 
about what kind of refrigerant is in the system. It's kind of important that you have a close idea of what refrigerant is in it. Like in this instance, it was either 409A or R22. We were pretty sure because that was the conflicting markings on the unit. Um, but now we've confirmed that it is R22 and used a marker to make sure no one ever gets confused again. Anyway, talk to you later.